Have you ever wondered how to build your own MP3 player or even a snake game all using just one board? What I'm about to show you will take your ESP32 projects to the next level. This is the second video in our series on the Emirates ESP32 S3 parallel TFT with touch 5 inch display. In the first video, we explored the technical specifications, discussed all the onboard interfaces and went through the setup of the LVGL graphics library. But in that video, I didn't cover the sound playback and I received so many messages asking how to play mp3 files. So today, we are doing exactly that. In the first example, we will learn how to play mp3 files stored on a micro SD card using the ESP32 S3. We will create a simple mp3 player with play, stop, next and previous patterns right on the display. We will also display the song name. In the second example, we make it even better. We use a drop down list to show all the available mp3 files on the SD card. You just select a file and it plays immediately. You don't need next or previous patterns. You can also adjust the volume with a slider and stop the song anytime. The selected song name is shown clearly at the top. This is a clean and easy to use interface. Perfect for learning UI design and SD card integration. In the third example, we do online streaming by accessing real internet radio stations. Yes, we stream songs directly from the internet using Wi-Fi, no SD card needed. Finally, just to make things fun, we create a snake game. This one uses buttons on the right side to control the snake's movement up, down, left and right. You can also pause the game, stop it and even see the score right on the screen. The gameplay area is clearly separated with a line so your buttons never get in the way. It's a super fun project and it shows just how flexible the ESP32 S3 with this display can be. And let me tell you, you can download all the codes and resources from my Patreon page. Before we get into the MP3 player and online streaming examples, let's first talk about how the sound is actually played on this board. This display has a built-in I2S digital audio amplifier, the Mix 98357A, is a small and powerful digital to analog audio converter. It takes I2S audio data from the ESP32 and converts it into clear analog audio, which you can hear through a speaker. So even if you don't use this exact MHz display, you can still build your own audio projects using the Mix 98357A breakout board. You can find these tiny modules online, very cheap, and they work perfectly with any ESP32 board. Now listen carefully because this is very important. To play mp3 files from the SD card or to stream online radio stations, you must use the correct audio library. I spent hours searching on GitHub trying different libraries and most of them didn't work. Either they didn't compile or they didn't support I2S audio properly. Finally, I found the right one and this is what I'm using in all the examples. Now let me show you how to install the library step by step. While your Arduino IDE is open, go to the top menu and click on Sketch Include Library 8.zip Library. Now browse to the location where you downloaded the library zip file. Select the zip folder and click the open button. If the library is not already installed, Arduino will add it automatically to your libraries. But in my case, as you can see, I have already installed this library, so I'm just going to click on the no button to skip it. As you can see, I have designed a very simple MP3 player user interface. It's made using just four buttons and one label. This is kept intentionally simple so that beginners can easily follow along and start playing sound files without any confusion. Now, if you want to create more advanced and stylish UIs, I have already made many tutorials on Squareline Studio. So feel free to watch those videos if you are interested in leveling up your UI design skills. The label simply displays the file name of the currently playing song. Now, let's talk about the four buttons. I have assigned an event to each button in Squareline Studio. If I click on the stop button and go to the inspector tab, then scroll down, you will see I have added an event. The trigger type is set to released and the function name is stop fun. So, whenever the stop button is pressed, this function will be called in the code. Don't forget to check the do not export checkbox so Squareland Studio doesn't auto-generate any default code for it. Next button, it calls the next fun function. Play button, it calls the play fun function. Previous button, it calls the previous fun function. This makes the UI fully functional and with just these four buttons, we have a working MP3 player that can play, stop and switch between songs. And also show the song name. 
next you need to download this code from our website or if you want the complete package including the square Land studio project ui assets and all necessary resources you can download the full project folder from my patreon page this makes it super easy for you to get started no need to set up everything from scratch anyways let's upload this code Thanks for your selection of MakerFab's products. You should hear this when you power on this module with a connected speaker or earphone. If not, please contact MakerFab's by service at MakerFab's.com. In this second example, I have simplified the MP3 player UI to keep things clean and beginner friendly. Instead of using play, next and previous buttons like before i have added a drop down list that automatically loads all the mp3 files from the sd card you can simply select any song from the list and it will start playing instantly at the top of the display there is a label that shows the name of the currently playing file there is also a stop button to stop playback and a volume slider to adjust the sound level in real time. This time, I didn't assign events from Squareline Studio. All interactions are handled directly through code, giving you more flexibility and control. I have already uploaded this program, so let's watch this in action. You should hear this when you power on this module with a connected speaker or earphone. If not, please contact MakerFabs by service at makerfabs.com. In this third example, we move from playing local files to streaming music from online radio stations. The UI remains the same, simple and user-friendly. With the drop-down on listing all the available radio channels instead of .mp3 files, the big visual change in the background image which instantly gives the UI a more polished and futuristic look. If you want to take it even further and add animations, I have already covered this in my analog watch tutorials, where I explained how to animate PNG images just like the moving clock hands you are seeing now. So, with just a few tweaks, you can turn this radio into a professional looking media player. You can update the channel names and links over here. Due to copyright issues, I can't play the songs or radio streams, but don't worry when you download the project and try it yourself, you will be able to listen to full songs and radio channels without any limitations. This fourth example is about creating a simple but fun snake game and this time we are not using Skrillan Studio or even the Illvigil library. The purpose of this example is to show you that it's not always necessary to use heavy GUI libraries to build interactive projects. Sometimes you can achieve great results with just basic graphics and smart coding. By manually drawing everything on the screen and using touch buttons for controlling the snake, we have created a fully functional game that's fast and responsive. I also added pause and stop buttons, a score counter, and ensured the game behaves nicely even when the snake hits the screen edge. It wraps around to the other side. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.